Every year in Malaysia, somewhere between November to January, we have the rainy season. And this brings stark temperature differences, dropping way down from the usual burning 36 degrees. We now find ourselves in a region of the world surrounded by rain. And this brings with it some pros and cons. Let's see how the rainy season affects me and my family. So one advantage of the rainy season in Malaysia is I can just come outside into my front yard and I can just stand around here any time of the day, just do nothing really and just watch the rain and just feel the cool breeze and just generally feel good. Because you know, cool weather is hard to come by in Malaysia. So when it rains, you better just enjoy it. However, talking about enjoying the rain is a bit of a double-edged sword as well. Because as you can probably tell, from my voice right now, I sound a bit different and a bit croaky. And I've seen that every time the weather changes and it starts to get rainy and cooler, I get sick, I get this sore throat, I get a runny nose, headaches, and that goes on for a few days when the weather changes. So yeah, it's pretty dramatic in Malaysia because you get the searing hot temperatures of like, 35, 36 and above, and then it drops right down to 27. And I know my friends in England will laugh when I say it's dropped down to 27, but that's really cool for us. Um, and so this dramatic change in temperature really changes my health for a few days too. Um, another bad thing about the rainy season in Malaysia is trying to get this lot dry. It just doesn't dry in the rainy season. And uh, laundry tends to pile up and stack up and we have to go to the uh, laundry place and dry it there so it's really difficult getting the clothes dry when the sun is not around now another thing about the rainy season is that the house gets really dark during the daytime i've got the curtains open here so there's a bit of light coming through but if i was to close them and close everything it would get really really dark now whether that's a good thing or not comes down to taste but for me it's a good thing because i can do this now isn't that nice and cozy now another great thing about the rainy season is i can keep the doors to the house wide open whether it's in the morning noon afternoon evening we have no mosquitoes around and we have just cool weather. And that also means that we get to save a lot of money using the aircon. So the aircon stays switched off for, I would say, the vast majority of each day when it's the rainy season. So we save a lot of money on our aircon and electric bill. And that's great. Yeah, because we need to keep these numbers right down. Another bad thing about the rainy season is having a shower. Now I've got this turned up to maximum temperature, but it's still nowhere near as hot as it normally would be if it wasn't the rainy season. So having a bit more of a cooler shower than it would have liked, and that is definitely another con um, of living through the rainy season in Malaysia. So um, driving in the rain, uh, is another tricky part of being in the rainy season. Uh, of course, you get much lower visibility and you have to really slow down a bit. So we have to add a 10 or 15 minutes onto our travel time and at much slower speeds than I would preferably like. So that becomes tricky. You can get an in and out with the umbrella and everything. And, oh, horrible, isn't it? All right, well, another good thing about the rainy season um, is the fact that 
it um, helps me to make good content uh, for videos because I love the weather and I love videoing the different kinds of weather uh, that we get in Malaysia, whether it's really hot, whether it's the rain. I love the big thunderstorms where we have the really cool lightning. And so it helps to provide some content for me uh, for my weather playlist here on Duncan's family channel. Washing our rabbits' boxes um, becomes a bit more difficult during the rainy season because we can't get out there, obviously, because it's raining. So we have to do it under the roof here and uh, just makes it a little bit more inconvenient. So we don't really enjoy doing it um, during the rainy season. The rain conveniently stopped for Fidelia. And of course, there's long distance traveling. Um, you can expect an increase in delays and perhaps even cancellations in flights. You can also expect a lot more bumpier flights as they go through inclement weather and bad conditions. Fidelia is uh, flying soon to Borneo uh, for her father's birthday. And then we're all flying to England um, later in December. So let's see if the rainy season is still in full flow at that time and let's see how these flights go. Hopefully, everything will be nice and smooth. So, how do you feel about the rainy season? Leave a comment and thank you so much for watching.